Oh my god, this is Drake's last pair, oh my god. What's going on guys, Pixelated here, back at it again with another review. Today we're looking at Canadian rapper's latest and most stocked pair with the famous Jordan brand. Of course, we're talking about the Air Jordan X OVO 8 and the white colorway. The sneaker released on February 16th in very few places, such as the physical OVO stores, which are only in the US, Canada, and in UK via raffle. They were also made available via online raffle on the OVO website, which was also limited to just Canada, the US, and UK. I was lucky enough to win the online raffle, although I feel like because these were offered through such limited outlets, they pretty much stockpiled all stock to these outlets and it made the raffles easier to win. Good news for me, but apparently there was also a good amount of stock on these. We'll get to my theory on why that was in a bit. Before we get started, feel free to like or subscribe at any point during the video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot and allows me to make more quality content for you guys. Also, feel free to follow me on the Insta for dope sneaker picks. The latest and possibly last collaboration Drake has brought out with Jordan Brand comes in the form of the classic Air Jordan 8. The Air Jordan 8 is known for its unique design as it has an upper with a one-of-a-kind lockdown system. It is pretty much a two-layer lockdown system and the shoe itself is just very well padded inside and we'll get into all of that in a second. The shoe released during All-Star Weekend which only makes sense as the Black OVO Air Jordan 12s released during the 2017 All-Star Weekend and the Black OVO 10s released a few days before the All-Star Weekend in Toronto. You see the pattern here. They retailed for 225 US dollars which sucks for us here in Canada because it converts to roughly 300 dollars Canadian and with shipping and taxes from the OVO store it added up to 369 dollars Canadian. I took a heavy drop for you Drake. If you see this, put me on or something. Please! There are the three primary sneakers that Drake has released with Jordan Brand as a collaboration with his OVO imprint. He's had a few others in between, but they haven't really been widely released to the public, so we're not going to discuss them here. What's more interesting to me is to see how this release unfolded because of the reports afterwards of Drake potentially leaving Jordan Brand and signing with Adidas, which we'll get into in a bit as well, but let's get into the shoe first. The upper of the shoe is primarily all white with hits of gold accents, which is a common theme amongst all OVO collaboration sneakers. The Jordan 8 has this really high quality, tremendously soft leather, and this is one thing you'll notice about the OVO Jordan shoes in general. Drake always seems to get the premium treatment at Jordan brand, so that's something to look forward to. The Jordan 8's upper is truly satisfying when it comes to quality. It's also a unique upper since it has that two-part lockdown system I was mentioning earlier. We have the top layer, which is made of these crossing leather straps that can be tightened or loosened via Velcro. You can see it has the Air Jordan branding on the strap. They have the number 23 Jordan signature number branded on the top. Once again, the material is top notch on this, the leather is soft and has a nice heft to it. I find this really interesting though because the bottom part of the velcro runs all around the back of the heel but we know the straps are never going to reach that far unless you bought a pair three sizes too big and you're really trying to pull those straps that far back. Then I just suggest getting a different pair. And then there's the second part of the lockdown which are the traditional laces underneath. They're flat white laces with plastic lace tips. We have a fabric tongue with the Jumpman logo stitched in red and white plush stitching creating a circle around it. You get these patches of perforated air holes on this really soft leather for breathability running through the upper. And the rest of the upper is covered in a tumbled leather that is once again very soft and high quality. It's really interesting, all the white OVO Jordans have this pearlescent look to the leather. I don't know if it's some sort of spray they lather on or some protective layer, but it's a really nice aesthetic, which Jordan brand most likely won't continue once or if Drake leaves. On the lower end, we have this one all-white plastic panel on the lateral side close to the heel with metallic gold accents, and another one on the medial side of the heel with the similar paint splatter accents. The midsole is made of the typical EVA or hard rubber you'd find on any other Jordan 8, while we have gold accents on the outsole as well as the Jumpman in red once again. The only thing on this shoe that screams remote anything OVO is the heel pull tab that is gold and has a gold metal OVO owl branded on it. The other OVO hits include the word welcome stitched in gold on a white patch on the back of the tongue and the OVO owl on the insole but no one really sees these when you're wearing the shoe. What I found interesting is that this shoe bucks the trend of OVO Jordans having the staple stingray leather that we see on the OVO 10s and the 12s. I thought this was going to be an ongoing thing with the OVO sneakers, but these shoes have proven me wrong. This is also the first pair of the OVO Jordan pairs which I think the black version actually looks better. The OVO 10, the white one, is the clear winner. With the OVO 12, I'm sure there's more of a balance between who likes the white and who likes the black, although I bet the white one still wins overall. 
For the 8s, I think I like the black version a lot better than the white and it's probably because of the gold accents being more prominent than on previous pairs. On previous pairs, you'd see minimal gold accents and the shoe was pretty much practically all white or all black. Here, they play more of a role. Now, I'll be straight up with you. I'm not a big fan of Jordan 8s. I've never owned a pair and if these weren't OVO related or a collaboration with Drake, I promise you, I wouldn't be here reviewing them and I wouldn't have spent the money to buy them. I'm just putting that out there. I don't claim to be a fan of 8s or anything. As for sizing, because I've never owned a pair of Jordan Jordan 8s before I went with my true size from what I've heard most Jordan 8s actually do fit true to size but these fit big to me if I had the option to buy them again I'd go for a half a size down and would recommend that to anyone else I am a size 10 true to size these are a size 10 and there's generous room in the toe box a half a size down would have been perfect even though I'm hashtag duck feet gang aka a wide foot you know what they say when you don't get the right size on a limited shoe bad things bad things that they wish and a wish and a wish and on me nike's plan no all right all right let me move on look alive look stop come on picks focus okay as we all know there were rumors drake might leave jordan brand to go to adidas citing a lack of creative freedom as the reason similar reason as to why kanye left nike for adidas and my theory on why nike made so much stock of these is because they were trying to cash out on the drake hype before he leaves and because of the stock on these the resale isn't that high so if you're in the market for these you're not in a bad spot at all when it comes to comfort these are a classic air jordan there's no new comfort or cushioning tech in here so don't expect much i also can't give you a proper review on that since these are too big for me it's always more accurate to judge comfort when the shoe actually fits but i wouldn't expect these to be any good for long walks they were ball shoes at some point though so the support is there Overall, these are a great shoe if you're into classic Jordans or into Jordan 8s in particular. They're great shoes if you're a fan of Drake. The quality on these is amazing. I'm thoroughly impressed. And remember to go half a size down if you're in the market for these. Please hit that like or sub if you took anything from the video. What are your thoughts on this shoe? Are you a Drake fan or could you care less? Let me know in the comment section below. Catch you later. Pixelated is done in the hype.